Okay, so good morning to all of our future colleagues and parents, moms and dads that are along here. Um, I'm coming from the Department of Physiotherapy here at University of Pretoria. Um, I am a qualified physiotherapist and also a lecturer at the university. So I'm just here to tell you a little bit about what we do and in case you don't know what physiotherapy is, hopefully to ignite a little bit of passion that we have. All right. So what exactly do physiotherapists do? Just like the picture says, we deal with people like Humpty Dumpty and we get him back on his wall. Basically what the department of what the profession of physiotherapy is about is really about working with uh, patients or people that have some kind of condition, either helping them with assessing this condition, diagnosing it, and then working on a treatment plan or prevention that could have resulted in this type of problem. We work with people on any um, age level, right from premature babies or children, all the way going up to geriatrics. Um, <coughs> and our main focus is to be able to return the person back to function, to their normal ability, or back to <coughs> the most functional that they could be following a condition that they've had. So we can work with people who are going through changes resulting from injury or just degenerative changes like aging, um, any disease, disorders that can arise, conditions and any environmental factors that may be affecting them. So if we look at <coughs> Physiotherapy, we're working in conjunction, like a lot of the other speakers have said, in conjunction with all of the other members of the team. We work very closely and often refer patients within the medical field, um, often sending patients back and forth for either um, x-rays if needed, if conditions are changing, or if we feel that the patient may benefit from maybe an occupational therapist, a speech therapist, a biokinetist, somebody else seeing the patient. We work very, very closely in the rehabilitation team. Okay, so the biggest thing that we are focused on is simply understanding the body um, and understanding how the body is responding to and how the body is changing to different conditions or different problems different factors that it may be experiencing. So simple questions like, is the body moving poor poorly simply because of the pain, or is the body in pain because you are moving poorly? These are some of the questions that we ask because we strongly feel that if we do not have the reason for the problem, there's no point in addressing the symptoms that are coming through. We often have to work very, very closely with the other members of the team um, to try and establish exactly what the cause of the problem is and then result in a good intervention plan. So where do physiotherapists work? W uh, just like the other members of the team have told you, we work in private practice. We can work in hospitals or clinics, um, nursing homes, where we can work with the geriatric patients, schools, public health, and tertiary institutions like we do. Um, a lot of physiotherapy is focused on evidence-based therapy where we try to encourage our students to look very much to newer and current literature. So this is a big basis of our um, uh, four years of studying as well. Um, we make sure that every technique and um, um, implementation of plan that we use is strongly worked coming from evidence. Um, so this is why tertiary institutions assist us a lot in building up that uh, love for the research that we also do incorporate in the four years. So in general, the type of problems that we may treat will be pain, muscle spasm, muscle weakness, imbalances or dysfunctions, um, movement patterns, problems with balance and proprioception. Some of the treatments that you may be familiar with, if you've been to a physio or that you may have heard, we work um, 
with geriatrics if it's simply movement patterns or imbalances, dysfunctions that we need to work on, otherwise trying to prevent further problems. Um, we work with some electrotherapy at times. We work um, using specific devices, maybe using a little bit of strapping. We also work very manually, so we do a lot of mobilizations, ma manipulations and things, depending on the specific areas that need to be worked on. And we also do hydrotherapy, um, where we work in the water, using um, the forces of water and working closely with exercise in water. So some of the, ti uh, the, the, the different fields that you'll find us working in, um, just to repeat exactly what Marietta has said earlier, also in the, in the field of physiotherapy in South Africa, we study um, and our four-year degree across all universities in South Africa is a four-year degree and we get a general physiotherapy degree, it's a BSc, um, Bachelor of Physiotherapy. Um, we get a general physiotherapy degree so we can work in any speciality and along the four years we often develop a passion for a specific area which we then encourage students to follow um, as part of a postgrad course or a master's or PhD. Um, some of the fields that we work in and that we train our students in are sport. I'm sure you would have been seen sports physios in on the field, um, at the different uh, games, where we work with either on-field treatment at that point in time or injuries that may be occurring. Surgical treatments we will do on patients that have either had surgery or require surgery. So we may work on amputees or patients that may have lung conditions, drains and things like that. And we'll have to rehabilitate the person. Pulmonary and respiratory rehab. Um, this is either following an acute um, bronchitis, pneumonia, or some kind of infection, otherwise working in ICU, um, patients on respiratory support, ventilator, and all of those type of settings. Adult neurology, so we work here either on spinal cord patients, um, patients that have had stroke, or living with any neurological condition, and we will have now to work into assessing and then uh, implementing a treatment plan for this person. Pediatrics, so here we either work with cerebral palsy children, children with developmental delay, um, or just children that have some sort of muscle imbalance or disorders. We try to uh, implement treatment plans for these. Geriatrics, I've already spoken about geriatrics. Um, we work closely in um, conjunction with the other members of the team in just trying to improve the quality of life of the geriatric or prevention of further complications. And then women's health and men's health, um, either during pregnancy or following pregnancy, or sometimes just dysfunctions and disorders that arise in men's health and women's health that need to be worked on. Our big focus is on rehabilitation. As I said, it's really just to improve the quality of life, to get the person to be as functional as possible, whether they're going to be living with this condition or this disease or these disorders, or whether we need now to prevent something else from occurring. Our main aim is rehabilitation. Okay, in terms of our tax physios, they are trained in all of the areas that I've already spoken to you about. Um, we have, from our third to fourth year, we have specific block areas where we take the students to different hospitals, clinics, community settings, nursing homes, um, schools, the, the, the list is endless. Um, and we cover all areas of physiotherapy. This is just a picture of some of our students um, working on um, the machines and electrotherapy and just in general um, the techniques that we do. Um, we do also uh, get our students to form, form part of the comrades strapping team um, where we go out to comrades every year. Um, last year we came second um, among the other universities where we compete for the best strapping team in the country. Um, but we also send our students out to do practicals and work on the runners as they are on the, f uh, on the road um, during the Comrades Marathon. 
um, we will get a little more information on requirements um, from admin, and they're also on our website. These are my contact details. If you need to speak to me or you need to know any information about physiotherapy, um, otherwise you can also contact our receptionist. Um, so yes, at the end of the day, moms and dads, we really do want to welcome you to our physiotherapy family. Um, we will encourage students to um, be ready to work. It's an extremely enjoyable course, extremely hard working. Um, it's very intense, but extremely, extremely exciting. Many, many facets, um, many opportunities, in locally and internationally, um, and we really do want the best of the best students who are, again, passionate about physiotherapy, passionate about human beings and the problems that the human body um, results in. Um, you have to be wanting to um, constantly read and inquire. You need to have a very, very critical mind, um, and you need to be able to to really be a problem solver. A lot of the times you're gonna have to delve very deeply into your patient's life, um, get a lot of information about where the patient's coming from, what he actually is going back into, because rehabilitation in our gym setting as opposed to rehabilitation back into his home environment is very different. Um, so we focus a lot on getting the person to be as normal as possible, but living with the dysfunction that he d does have. All right, so we do look forward to welcoming you to our physio family. Please do make sure that if you are applying to us, the Department of Physio, um, we will only select you if you have chosen us as your first choice. Thank you. <laughs>